What's going on again, YouTube? It's your boy Switch. I'm coming back at you. You know what I'm saying? With more of my own personal text and thoughts. See, is how we have issues via the safety position. And with Cleveland letting go Calvin Pryor. This was another video I was meaning to do a while back, but, you know, just slipped my mind. And, and like I said, now that I'm. Excuse me, y'all. I'm sorry about that. But now that everything's come back full circle, you know, and it's fresh on my mind, I figure I'd just go ahead and get that out. But no, looking at our secondary and how our safeties are right now, looking at our defense, it would be pretty much complete and set with a safety that can come downhill and basically knock you out. You know, that's what I feel like this defense is missing. It's nice to have, you know, guys that can cover, that can get to a space, you know. You know, it's, it's nice to have those guys, but when running backs like Leonard Fournette get past the linebackers, if that safety can't tackle him, then guess what? He's, he's off to the races, you know, for a touchdown. <clears throat> Personally, looking at our, our, our secondary, well, safety-wise, I don't believe, Eddie Pleasant is really the only safety that I believe we have that can really just come down hill and, and lay, lay the hat on somebody. Other than that, it's not really, you know, it's not really a big thing. Um, also, now it's reported that, you know, not only are we beating um, Gary Barnard, but now we're working him out. I still, you know, I still, going off of what I said earlier in my last video, that we should focus on getting another tight end with him because see I mean Anderson Steven Anderson he's one of those tight ends that schematically if you use him right I would I would use him coming out of the backfield out of a power formation or you know eye formation something like that you know just to get that him out in the, out in the space you know with you know, against a slower linebacker. Now, <clears throat> granted, that doesn't always work. So, you know, you still have to, you know, try to hit your primary targets and second reads and so on and so forth. But, I mean, like I said, that's just how I would use Steven Anderson. You know, now, like I said, looking at Gary Barnridge, he's a nice, he's a nice veteran. You know, that can can be that security blanket for if you know. Watson just needs to make that throw. This guy can get open and, and, and make that catch for him. I still say Ladarius Green because, you know, on mostly in blitz situations, safeties won't be able to cover this. They, I, they won't. Just in our system, which is a matchup based system, I, I don't see many safeties being able to cover. Ladarius Green one on one, especially going vertically down the field, whether it's on a post or, you know, just a go route. You know, like I said, just look at it like this: with those routes and whatnot, if the ball is placed right, he's too he'll be too fast for most most safeties, and he's just gonna simply get behind him and outrun them. Second. <clears throat> Which is the more important factor, you know what I'm saying? Which gives him an would give him an advantage in our system over linebackers and safeties. He's six six. He's a this is a this is a tall dude, you know what I'm saying? And not to mention he can he can run and he had that kind of athleticism in this system, which is a again matchup based system. Those those type of moves would greatly help this football team. I still personally believe that, you know, the whole Brian Cushion era is over. So, you know, and like I said, I love it when I'm right with these situations because I get to say I told you so. And this is one of those I told you so moments where Houston should have traded Cushion during the offseason for Martavis Bryant. You could have packaged him in with a third round pick. And probably even, you know, probably a third from next year. You know what I'm saying? Or if you if you want to, we could we could do it this year, seeing as how we're getting a compository pick for AJ Boyer. 
which possibly could still get bumped up to a second round pick. But that's all I got for you guys right now, and um, I'm out. Oh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, too. Peace. And as always, go Texans.